<clears throat> All right, y'all. I don't know if y'all seen this. We're going to watch this video of this young man talking about um, why a lot of black guys don't like or when they get money, they date mainly white women or different other nationalities other than black women. So let's see what he is talking about. Okay, I was seeing this video and the guy was talking about basically it wasn't him. He was talking about he knows and he has a lot of friends. And I guess uh, college basketball or football stars or this and this and that. And how they don't deal with black women. They mainly like dealing with white women or other women with uh, different nationalities. And we're going to look at this video to see what his reason is for well, it ain't his, his friend's reasoning for the reason why they won't deal with us sisters. Let's see what they talking about, okay? Because, it, it, you know, like you said, it wasn't him, but he's going to tell us why. Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women? What's going on? I am going to tell you, as someone that is friends with a lot of of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I want to make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling you what they have told me. My man said, bro, how many white women have you seen do the Meg Down Challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being Lotto. I said, probably only one. He said, okay. Y'all, five of my guys that play on Division One Power Five football teams and they start, they were like, goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money, Apple Pays and Cash Apps, for her hair and nails. I said, oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses, you're good for it. I said, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women? They're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some fucking ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money. But while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite Cabo Bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. My friends are telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all are not paying for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro, first of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails? They don't even care about the nails, really, you know? And if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes, I, you know, I pitch in and I was like, all right, what about hair? They're like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. We're flat hounds. She wants to be special. So Jesus Christ, you guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> One of my men said this. He just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now I'm dating a white girl. I'm about to marry her. He said, the difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the fuck up. I said, God damn. <laughs> Listen, this is what they told me. Do with the information as you please. If it takes me 10 to 15 years to find a black woman that's compatible with me, that's what I'm going to do. But this is what they told me. So stop being surprised. I need everybody to listen. All of my friends that are D1 athletes that are either in college or are in the league, they're dating white women or they're married to white women. And you know what they told me? They said, bro, my girl looks up to Taylor Swift. Your girl looks up to Meg Thee Stallion. I said, yeah. He said, bro, you know what the difference is? One is almost a billionaire and dating Travis Kelsey. The other one was dating Tory Lanez. <laughs> <laughs> What's fucking with Tory Lanez? I created the stallion challenge. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's not funny because if you actually look at those two different paradigms, that is actually insane. If you take Taylor Swift and then you take Megan Stallion, that's two different paradigms. I asked all of them a question. I said, do you guys buy your girl expensive bags, expensive clothes and shoes? You guys have crazy NIL deals. Like, I know them. Crazy NIL deals or crazy NFL contracts. They said, bro, my girl likes Lululemon and is cool with a Tory Burch or Michael Kors. Your girl wants a Chanel bag and a hundred roses with a hundred dollars. <laughs> I said, Jesus Christ. They asked me, yo, goody, you were dating a girl. She was black. How many times did you send her money for her nails? I'm a good guy. I told them I definitely did it at least 10 to 15 times. They said, you want to know how many times I did it? Three. I said, fuck. Hey, I don't give a fuck though. I still want a black woman. I can't relate to a white woman. That's just me. That's a preference. White women, you guys are cool though. I just can't relate to y'all. You guys are cool though. But I do see that there's a difference in culture. All my friends that are D1 athletes or were D1 athletes that are married to white women or seriously dating white women, they say, bro, my schedule for football and class is so rigorous. I don't have time to argue with the girl. Why are there mad girls in your phone? 
Shut the fuck up. That's exactly what they told me. My bad, y'all. I just got out of the gym. That's why I'm sweaty. The white women that they're dealing with are giving them meal prepped food on top. <laughs> Bro, my friends told me on top of the meal prep food they're already getting off of scholarship. Do you guys understand? These guys are eating six to seven times a day. One of my mans even told me, yeah, bro, my agent is my girlfriend's dad. That's the reason why I just got signed to the Dolphins. I said, hey, brother, you're doing something right. You're signed. <laughs> Three of my guys told me I've never had a late assignment since I was a freshman in college and I've never typed an essay. And I said, wait, what? They said, yeah, my girl is doing it. I said, my brother in Christ, I can't compete with that. Wow. Wow. I am at all. I really <laughs> don't have much to say because I hate to say it, us black women do come off, a lot of us, not all of them, not all of us, as gold diggers, as gold diggers. And I'll give that part of because of the social media and all this and they trying to compete with this girl that girl all this and all that now mind you I know it's some young ladies who especially being with them what they do they were black girls they would help and you know do stuff for their guy it's I believe it's the type of girls they pick because if you gonna pick uh this girl that you know as she's the execute girl and get all these expectations what do you expect I mean, yeah, you a college, all of us wanting to do better and we trying to do better. You trying to do better. And um a lot of the guys, I'm like, they getting when they tell me the white women, they getting some of them white chicks this already got money. Sound like already and I don't heard this a lot of time even in the entertainment industry. A lot of the men end up going with the like he said, the agent's daughter or uh the manager's daughter or the uh uh big time exec's daughter or whatever and get to meet them and them women gonna give them everything. They don't wanna really argue, they gonna give them everything. And um it is was it is what it is because a lot of times those black girls we well, ain't got it in the first place. Like they said, the guys coming on the scholarship, the girls is coming on the scholarship too. Um, barely making it. Now, if you can find you a gold digger, then that's a whole nother cup of tea. I can't help it. They, you know, they out there. And they out there, the white ones too. And, and the um, Hispanic women too. They gold diggers too. It ain't just the black ones. Now, running the mouth. Mm. So, my, thing, I, my take on that is... I feel like you think the white women let you get away with what you want to do. The black guys, maybe even the Latinos girls, get away with what they want to do. Um, the black women ain't going to let you get away with it. And they got something to say about it. And they don't want to hear it because they feel like they, I'm D1, I'm going to the league, I'm this, I'm that. I don't have to hear about this. I don't want to hear about this. And so you should be happy just to have me. That's how I'm feeling the take on it. I could be wrong. That's what I'm getting. But all this is very much interesting. This is very interesting to me. So I I, I understand in a way, but then the way uh what he's saying the guys is talking about, but then again, you know, it's it's all about what type of chick you trying to pick. You pick the regular girl who's really into her books doing like she's supposed to, okay. Sound like you're trying to get a uh, uh, like an easy ride. A girl who do anything for you. And some of these black girls like, no, nah, you got to do your own stuff. I got to do my books and learn too. Now nah, you need to do this and that. And now they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. I could be wrong, y'all. This is my take on it. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe. And tell me what you think. Because this is my take on it. I, that's what I feel. I could be wrong. But I guess to each his own. You know what I mean? To each his own. But... I ain't against, you know, hey, if they getting away with it and the girls let them get away with it and this player, I can't hate the game. I'm just saying, people can love or be with who they want to love. All right? Until next time, y'all comment, like, and subscribe. And y'all be safe out there. And don't let one of these guys pull them tricks on you. All right? Listen to Auntie.